We're going to start talking about decorations today and I realized that trying to put this all in one video is just impossible to me but I had a few ideas I wanted to share with you and I prepared a few tabs or what are these called tags and die cuts even the cute little envelope I showed you that you can put a message in and some side corners that we can add and even a little envelope with a see-through pocket. No pocket yet. So I'm going to start with one that I've done, a page that I've done. And this is our last fold over page. And what's interesting about this is you, I want to make it so I can put things that stay in there without a lot of work and that are protected from grimy little grandchildren's hands. <laughs> um, by putting a piece of acetate over the pages, um, you can still use the page and whatever you put in that page will stay in place. And I did this by adding a little teeny eighth of an inch adhesive to the top and making my acetate a quarter inch shorter and then adding a piece of paper on top. And I'm going to do one with you. Started preparing. I'm going to go way back to page two. And what I've done is I've cut a little strip of paper, the digital paper. And I'm going to match up my birds <laughs> when I put this on. And so that you probably won't even be able to tell that there is as, um, that there is a continuation. I, I tried to get the same piece of paper. And all I did was cut off, I think it's a half inch, let me check. Actually, about a sixteenth more than a half inch, I cut it off of the digital paper. So let me show you. I have a piece of acetate here, and I put my measurements ahead. I'm going to do three samples with you. This one is going to be five and three quarters wide. And this is an eight and a half inch piece of acetate. I'm going to cut it at eight inches and it's going to fit right here. And then in the back of the album, we have a small photo layout and I'm going to make that three and three quarters by six and a quarter. Then I'm going to make a little teeny piece of acetate for that. I'll just show you how easy it is. It's hard to see the acetate. That's why I kept the little tissue there. So my first cut is going to be at five and three quarters. And then it's going to be eight inches long. It's sort of weird because you're working with something almost invisible. I'm going to just cut all three of these at the same time. This one is three and three quarters. By six and a quarter. I think the whole thing is six and a quarter, so I'm going to just do a six and an eighth. And my last one is two and a half inches, which is just about right, to one and a half inches. And you know, this is so little. I've already made this once and I lost it, so I think I'll start with that one. What I've done for this one, it's on the inside of the page, so it's a little easier. I just put a couple pieces of two-sided tape, paper covered. And I'm just going to lay the plastic on the underside over it. And now I can hide something in that little envelope. Oh, I was going to put glue, but it looks like I've already put adhesive on this. so. So any size envelope you want to make um, would be a nice addition to add little secrets to your album. But here we have a lovely little envelope. You could add something to it if you'd like. Um, our little cards that I've been making would fit right in. Messages would fit right in. You could add a message to the back of your card. 
It even shows a little picture in the middle. Okay, back to this page. I'm just going to open this up, make it a little flatter. I'm going to take the eighth of an inch adhesive and go down just about on the quarter inch line. I'm not being real exact. I think I will cut it though. So it'll go all the way to the edge. Now you can hardly see this, but I found, I feel that a piece of paper or an embellishment over it would make it not have any difficulties. Now I want to line up on the bottom. A little wide. <laughs> if there's any irregularities, I want it to be up top because it's going to be covered. Okay, I'm just rubbing my finger across. And now I'll go to this piece. Remember, I want the doves to sort of line up as they are now so it will look fairly seamless. I suppose if I inked all the edges, it would even be better, but I'm doing this the simple way. Okay. Now this is wide, so I'm going to put a piece of 3 eighths on there, and I'm just going to attach it. I can see that my line is not perfectly straight, and I'm not going to worry too much about it. So I'm lining this up with the top. Okay. Now you could put anything in here. I'm probably going to put photos. Now this pocket, I'm not going to put anything here. I'm not sure what's going in my pockets yet. Um, I decided it's really hard to decorate when you're not ready. So now I'm going to flip, flip to the back page. So we've done two plastics. We've done the little envelope. We've done our page number two. I'm on page number seven now. And we added this little photo file. Okay, I'm just going to destroy that. Open my last page with that little flip and I'm going back to that skinny little tape and just putting a piece at the top. Now I sort of want this big enough for a four by six photo. So I am thinking, until I get the photo in, I am not making a cover for this acetate. Because I think it would look fine without a piece of plastic. Actually, you know, I, I measured this. I'm going to say that I measured this wrong. I think it should be longer. So let's see what my ruler is. I think I'm going to recut that one and make it six and a quarter. This is a, I'm just using transparency film. Sorry about that. I thought I was all planned out. Mice and men plans. Let's try this again. Remember the paper I threw away? Let's check what I wrote originally. I wrote six and a quarter and I cut it less. And I think I'm going to go to six and a quarter. So three and three quarters. Let's 
cry this over again. Dangerous working on the album with open tape, Karen. Okay. Three and three quarters. And I will do the whole six and quarters then. And by doing it that way, I think it will fit a photo. Let's see, you got a four by six. I'd have to trim it down. This is a whole four by six, so I'd have to trim the sides down. Yes, I think that will fit a photo lovely. And I think, yep, the magnet still holds. I have, the photo obviously has to be trimmed, but that would work. Okay, let's move on to a couple of the decorations that are optional. That's my last page. Well, even this page here. <laughs> just, let's just see how that sits there while we work. <laughs> okay. Now, I wanted to talk about these main pages. I actually like how the color is. And so what I did was I went backwards and found the same paper, and I put it in a flip-flap. So my idea is to make this, so there's just one photo there. Now I could have a photo on top showing. I don't know, I might even have a mat, I might have a small. Again, I can't work without my photos, I'm sort of hindered. So I'm gonna take the edge off my flip flap. Didn't throw it in the trash, threw it on my desk, not a smart move. Um, but see this little white there? I'm gonna to try to line it up right. Same exact pattern, one jewelry of digital paper you can Print whatever you need. Can't quite let that flop, can I? Now, from the looks of this, it should be fairly continuous. Of course, the plastic changes the color a little bit. But now I have room to put something under here, either a journal block and a photo above it, or whatever. And I'm going to do the same exact thing on this side. And I'm just setting myself up. <laughs> I'm setting myself up for a mistake because I don't know if that's straight or not. Here this one. So I'm going to take that off and make sure it's straight. Did it by my eye, and I'm not sure if that was a wise move. Raise it up just a little. Okay, that looks perpendicular. So this is a little over three quarters now. Now here you can see the coloration there. Trying to match it up a bit and attach it. There we go. So I have some flip flaps already for pictures. We already have lots of room here for smaller pictures. This gives us a little bit bigger. And we continue. We lift up our flap and I think I'm going to put one there. I also added a corner in the pocket where you can stick something in. Here might be good to put a whole big acetate again, but I'm going to put a flip flap here. I want the top to be secure. So And if I wanted to, I can match the color again. If I, but I, this is sort of boring, all this peach color. Oh, these things stick to my fingers. I'm going to center that. Well, I'm going to go near the top. Yeah, I'll center it. <laughs> and we can always decorate this page more. We could add some of our, our sweet butterflies. Um, but again, I want my photos in there first. I'm going to do the same thing to this side. Meanwhile, I just want to talk about this little pocket. Um, they, you can make these little pockets in any size you want, even big ones. I had a big one ready, but it was too big for that area. So um, it's 
comes in one of our cutouts with the digital paper. I guess I don't have one here right now. But it's a